everybody, it is Monday, 21st, April 21st, and we got a load, we got to go pick up in, in Miami Lakes, Florida, we're 23 miles, 34 minutes away, and uh, it's going to Chester, Pennsylvania, which is just south of the Philadelphia area. I have currently right now uh, let's see, 24 hours, 43 minutes and 58 seconds before I run out of time. So I would imagine by the time I get this load delivered and I get parked, I'll be done. I'd have to take a break. Uh... Today is, like I said, it's the 21st. Tomorrow's my birthday. So I'll have to run the other half of this load on my birthday, but that's okay. So it's 84 degrees out there. Hey, Pooh Bear, you want to say hi? Boy, he was, he was chewing the bit. I didn't make him bark or anything. Boy, you look. <laughs> he was chewing the bit to wanting to say hi to you guys. <laughs> he was just chewing the bit to be talking to you all. Holy cow, he jumped right up on that. Anyway, let's uh get ready, go pick up our load. We don't have to take a break. We're gonna fuel before we leave. We won't have to fuel. We won't have to take a break or anything. We can just, as soon as we pick up, we're gonna roll. So with that being said, y'all, let's, let's do some traffic. <laughs> we just got our load, but what a deal. Nobody here knows a lick of English. Not one lick of English. None at all. That was real fun trying to make a conversation with somebody, you know. Now well, we're headed to Pennsylvania. We're gonna leave Miami right now, even as we speak. Everybody, it's going to get dark before we get to where we're going. We're going to try to get to exit 68 again, right there in South Carolina. That's 544 miles. It's only 1,000 something up to where I got to go. I'm 8 hours and 46 minutes now from that spot. why I want to get to that spot because I'm halfway where I gotta go pretty much and it's guaranteed to park somewhere and uh, it's 4.30 right now so let's see 4.30, 5.30, 6.30 it's gonna be around 1.30 in the morning when I get to there so that'll be pushing it for me I'm not really a night driver, you know. But I gotta get to that point. I can't let uh, the dark keep me from getting most of my trip done, or at least half of it, right? That means I'll start out at 11.30 tomorrow if I can get there by 1.30. My appointment is 9 a.m. on Wednesday. So I gotta get, I, I do have to get this done today in order to do that. Because I can't drive over 700 miles in a day. It's pretty much impossible. 
possible, especially when the speed limit is like, what, 65, 70 miles an hour. You can't hold that, you know, traffic won't let you. But anyway, enough of that. We're going to go back up to Pennsylvania where it's a little cooler. You can tell summer is coming because it's hot here. I got the AC on and I don't feel too bad in here. But at a place where I, I went and got loaded, nobody there knew English. In two miles. Keep to the left on I-95. I mean, I really thought this was American soil. This is the United States, even though it's Miami. It's still United States, you know? I mean, if I went to Mexico, or Puerto Rico, I would expect myself to know their language because first of all if I didn't know how to talk their language they would probably tell me to leave wouldn't they <laughs> but these are people that are actually holding a driver's license and in they're driving on our US highway know no English. Now there ain't no signs out here printed in Spanish. So how can they read something if they don't know English? They don't understand that. What is wrong with that? I think there's something really wrong with that. I'm not complaining about it. It's just... This is American soil. Keep to the left on I-95. This is American soil and I'm talking to them in English and they're actually looking at me saying, I don't speak English. It's kind of weird. You would think that would be an OSHA rule. Because there's a language barrier there. Keep to the left on I-95. Continue on this road for 312 miles. Well, we got 312 miles before we hit Jacksonville. So we got a pretty good ways to go. Before we hit Jacksonville, Florida. But we'll make it. Eastern time. 
I did stop. Uh, not too long ago for about an hour. Because I had to eat some supper. I was hungry. I was hungry. Anyway, guys, let's... We're, we're just about in Jacksonville. We are so close to the loop. We still got 235 miles before we can stop for the day. Let's get her on down the road, y'all. And we're leaving the pilot truck stop. Where we got my coffee. There's a TA right across the road. In 1,000 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-95 North. There's a TA right there on our right side, but I don't like their coffee. I don't like their coffee at all. I mean, it's coffee, I'll drink it if that's the only choice I have, but in that case, I can make coffee in my truck and make it better than what TA coffee. But see when I Take get the entrance to the right on I-95 North. See when I get coffee. When I get coffee at the pilot, it doesn't cost me nothing. Because I use my points. You know. And this cup of coffee was totally free because your ninth cup of coffee you get at Pilot is free. Now we're getting back on I-95. We're seven miles to Jacksonville. We got 234 miles we gotta go before we can stop our truck for the night. Continue on this road for seven miles. Alrighty, well, I'll catch you guys on down the road. <laughs>
dad was 47. And I thought he was old. But I was a kid then. I hope by the time my next birthday comes around, I'm still driving my truck. I hope my health stays about the same or better. Hope it doesn't get no worse. Or worse, sir. Anyway, y'all, we're in Georgia. We got 177 miles before we can stop this truck for the night. I catch you guys later. Well, everybody, I am at exit 68. I am in Waltersboro. South Carolina. We got here at 3 o'clock. Uh, it's 3.47 now, but I had to take Pooh Bear out, set my dish up and everything. Then I walked inside the truck stop, got me a Yahoo. You know, the chocolate drink Yahoo. <laughs> and uh, getting ready to go to bed. We're going to be rolling physically be rolling at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm 10 hours and 30 minutes away from my delivery. And I really want to drive straight to my delivery so I can be set up for uh, Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. my appointment. So, um, so I'm hoping there's a place there to park. I'm going to have my dispatcher make some phone calls and see if I can actually park, physically park on their property. And uh, hopefully they say I can. If I can't, then I gotta figure how, where am I gonna park to be close enough to hit that appointment because I'm 10 and a half hours out. I leave at one o'clock. Really, that's 10 and a half hours, but you gotta shut down for 30 minutes. So, I'm not going to really be there until 11, which is fine, but 9 o'clock is my appointment, so that's exactly 10 hours. If I can park on their property, I, I don't have nothing to worry about, so. Anyway, I am tired. Can you guys tell? I got up at 6 o'clock this morning. I didn't get dispatched to go pick this up until 12 and I was told I couldn't pick up no earlier than 2 and it took them to 4.30 to load me so but I had to drive I had to be here if I'd have stopped anywhere before here I wouldn't make it to my uh, delivery tomorrow so I had to come here now I'm inside my 11 hours I can make it there so Anyway, I'm going to quit jabbering. I am so tired. Hey, Pooby. You going to say goodbye to everybody? Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> He's excited. He's fixing to go to bed. Ready to go bed? Well, we're gonna go to bed. Y'all have a good night. God bless. See you tomorrow.